Welcome to our channel. I'd rather be a pirate than die here. That's what Zoro said when he met Luffy. For reasons unknown, Zoro became a marine prisoner. At that time, Zoro was known as a pirate hunter. What led Zoro to change lanes into a pirate was the ultimatum given by his future captain, Luffy. In order to survive, Zoro doesn't mind it take any kind of work as long as it doesn't hamper his goal of becoming the strongest swordsman in the world. Titles are useless in fights. The stronger one wins, that's all. For Zoro, epithets are not significant at all, especially in battles. In the Whiskey Peak arc, Zoro, the first member recruited by Luffy, fought against an army Baroque Works members. In this faction, the lower the number a member has on their name, the higher the status and skills. But Zoro didn't care at all at their statuses. What matters to him is who's the strongest in battles. There is someone I must meet again. Until that day, not even death himself can take my life away. After he went through a duel with Mihawk, Zoro was severely injured. However, he still had the guts to challenge one of Arlong's men, Hachi. During the fight against Hachi, Zoro collapsed because of his injuries. Everyone was thinking that Zoro was on the edge of dying, but somehow Zoro got back up. He said that even death himself couldn't take his life until he had the second chance to meet and fight Mihawk. If I can't even protect my captain's dream, then whatever ambition I have is nothing but talk. Zoro made this statement when he fought Bartholomew Kumer in Thriller Bark just shortly after Luffy defeated Gecko Moria. After everyone on the island received their Suru shock, they all passed out. Only Zoro, who managed to withstand the attack to protect Luffy. According to him, his ambition means nothing if he can't even protect his captain. Zoro was even willing to sacrifice himself for Luffy. One of the awesome quotes Zoro says here is, Luffy must be the man who becomes the Pirate King. Only I can call my dream stupid. Zoro said that when he met Sanji for the first time at Barity, Sanji teased Luffy and Zoro for having crazy dreams. Zoro didn't take it lightly. He's aware of the risk of being a swordsman, but he already made it his life choice, and Zoro is definitely serious about his dream of becoming the strong. Frogs in a small pond wouldn't know how vast the ocean is. Actually, it was Mihawk who said this when he fought Zoro, but Zoro quoted this when he faced Pika. The meaning of the saying is that someone with little to none experience wouldn't know how harsh the world actually is. After saying that, Zoro crushed Pika without even having to use his full power. When I decided to follow my dream, I had already discarded my life. Someone who is serious about pursuing their dream is definitely willing to make any sacrifice, including their own life. That's what Zoro said when he went up against Kumer and Thriller Bark. 
For him, Zorro didn't deserve to pursue his dream since he wasn't able to protect his own captain. That's when Zorro was ready to die at Cuma's hands, sacrificing himself for Luffy. This is one of the most selfless acts Zorro has ever done. Scars on the back are a swordsman's shame. That's what Zoro had to say when Mihawk asked him why he didn't avoid his attacks. Even though he knew well that he's no match for Mihawk, Zoro didn't want to back down as he would rather die than to do that. Hearing that, Mihawk was moved and let Zoro live. Mihawk even gave him some motivation for Zoro to become stronger so he could surpass him. I won't lose to anyone until I become the strongest swordsman and defeat him. This was uttered by Zoro after he had to accept his defeat against Mihawk. Zoro realized that he wasn't strong enough, so he needed a lot to learn and get to know the world better. He sticks to what he said, though. Since his duel with Mihawk, Zoro had never lost a single fight. If I die here, then I am a man. That could only make it this far. Zoro said this when he faced Kaku in Ini's lobby. Although he was having some trouble keeping up with Kaku in his elephant form, he chose not to give up and pulled off the Ashura technique to end the fight. We can take this as a source of motivation as to not giving up easily. If you want to know your worth, how strong you actually are, then fight to the end. T, thank you for watching. If you feel comfortable and satisfied, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.